today another day of forensic testimony in the Parkland Killers penalty trial. The medical examiner's time on the witness stand today was particularly hard for the victim's families to hear. Besides the medical examiner's testimony, jurors also heard from the owner of the gun shop where the shooter bought the assault rifle. And let's get to local tins Chris, uh, Christina Vasquez live now with more on today's testimony. Christina. And at this point in the process, the jurors in this case have actually examined and reviewed 13 autopsies. That's 13 of the total 17 murdered victims in this case. It is really tough testimony, especially for the families of the murdered in that courtroom bullet fragment that was collected from her hair. Jurors learned today Gina Montalto had both defensive wounds. Back of the right hand here. And wounds with seared edges, which Dr. Marlon Osborne says happens when the end of the muzzle is in close contact. Defensive wound that could have come before the more contact wounds on the body. Jurors and families of the murdered also heard gut-wrenching testimony on the autopsies of teacher Scott Beagle and students Helena Ramsey, Jamie Guttenberg, Alex Schachter, and Alyssa Alhadef. So since these are high-velocity uh, rounds, they often fragment when they go through the body. So I only have one entrance wound and I have three separate exits. So this is the rifle you sold, uh, Nicholas Cruz. Yes, sir. Michael Morrison owned the gun shop that sold the Parkland shooter, the AR-15 style rifle he used to kill 17 and hurt another 17. And there was nothing on the rifle when it left the store. Okay. It did not have the bipod. It did not have the vert grip and there was no slang. Purchased legally for just over $600. We look for any red flags, any signs of why the sale should not happen. One year to the month before the 2018 deadly school shooting. I came out and asked him, what are you going to do with the rifle? And the reply was, I go shooting with my friends on the weekends. I just want my own stuff. And the defense did have a question on cross-examination for that witness, essentially asking him to reiterate what he had said that when then 18-year-old Nicholas Cruz purchased this rifle from his gun shop that it was legal in the state of Florida. And now that age is 21 years old. In fact, that bump up in the legal age there is the result of new gun restrictions that passed here in Florida statewide in the wake of the Parkland school shooting. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. And you can watch live coverage of the Cruz penalty trial every day on Local10.com or social media pages and the Local 10 Plus app on your smart TV. And we have an in-depth section on Local10.com. Scan this QR code to find a timeline of events, profiles of each of the 17 victims, and hear the testimony from the wounded, plus what we know about each of the jurors who will decide the killer's fate.